Hello, come on, Moody. Dragonheart here with um, just a little weekly haul, haul, a haul, haul, a weekly haul video for you. Here. <laughs> um, this is from the week, the seventeenth of October, Wednesday, the seventeenth of October, and um, I'm actually a couple of weeks behind. The, it's actually what would it be today? Friday, the second of November today, as I record this. I was hoping. Um, Another couple of weekly hauls have turned up by now. I'm now two weekly hauls behind because um, they just haven't turned up in the post yet, which is a nuisance. But that happens on occasion, can't be helped. So, anyway, got um, a fairly heavy, very Marvel heavy weekly haul here. So, um, I think we'll start playing on through Marvel first. Pop that up there, give you something to look at. And here we go. Alright, first of all, we have Marvel Point One. Marvel Now point one, sorry, should I say? The um in theory this should set up a little bit of the upcoming Marvelness for all this now nonsense. <laughs> sorry, I'm a little cynical. Um I don't know why they didn't release this before. You would have thought really this would have been the very first thing they would have released, but everyone they've already released um Uncanny Avengers. But whatever. Unless I picked it up the wrong week, I don't know. Anyway, I'm yammering. So, alright, let's go on with this. So we next have Avengers Assemble issue number 8. This is actually the last issue of this I'm going to pick up. Because um, after this it becomes part of the whole Marvel Now thing. From issue 9 onwards it becomes part of Marvel Now. So I'm just going to be dropping this. I've, I've, I think I've got about... 15, 20 odd issues that I'm going to be dropping over the next few months. I'm waiting until um, story arcs come to a close. Just because that's, that's. I'm very um, uptight about things like that. I like to have. If I'm going to drop a title, I like to drop it at the end of a story arc rather than halfway through a story arc. It just, 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 just bugs me. <laughs> anyway, and next we have Avengers vs. X Men Consequences issue number two. I am enjoying this little wrap-up series, to be honest. I appreciate the fact that Marvel is just milking this whole AVX thing for all it's worth, but honestly, I'm I'm enjoying it for the most part, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. Captain Marvel, issue number five. Another one that I am considering dropping at the end of um, at the end of the story arc. I mean, I enjoy it, but I'm just spending so much money on comics, I just need to be cutting down right now. <laughs> and next we have... Daredevil issue number 19. That is a sweet cover. I really like that. This is one I will definitely not be dropping. I can guarantee you that 100%. And we have The Mighty Thor issue number 21. Part 6 of 6 of the Everything Burns crossover event. Pretty damn explosive um, story there. Was this the last issue or was... 22 is the last issue. I can't remember. Not important. Regardless, I'm curious to see what um, the Marvel Now volume has in store for us. What was it called? Thor, God of Thunder, if I remember rightly. I look forward to that. And here we have, um, I mentioned I missed this before, the um, Minimum Carnage Alpha, which is the start of the Minimum Carnage event, crossover event between Venom and... Um, Venom and Scarlet Spider, I think. And speaking of which, we have Venom issue number 26, which is part three of the Minimum Carnage event. <laughs> There's that one for you. I like Carnage. He's just, well, Carnage, literally. <laughs> uh, next we have little mini series, part one. Um, Ultimate Comics Iron Man. This was cool. I actually liked this a lot. I think it was a four or five part miniseries. Looking forward to seeing where this is going. And more from Ultimate Comics. Here's Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. Issue number 16. And we're still in the um, United We Stand story arc. This feels like it's going on forever. I appreciate it just because it's part of three different series. It makes it feel a lot more padded out than it is, but... It feels like it's going on forever. And last but not least, we have... Um, Uncanny X-Men issue number 20. Uh, 
that's everything from Marvel. Let's shift these aside out of the way. Oops, easy. And on with DC. Short little DC, I think we've got three or four issues here. Three, I think, from DC. So, first of all, we have Sword of Sorcery, issue number one, also featuring Beowulf. I enjoy this a lot. Of the, um, the most recent four things to be added, this is the one I really like the most. Um, and the Beowulf story, actually, I preferred it in this one. When in the um, issue zero, I didn't think much of the Beowulf story, but it's growing on me. With this issue, it's definitely growing on me. So I'm looking forward to reading that further down the line. Uh, next, we have from Vertigo, John Constantine's Hellblazer, issue number. What are we up to now? Two hundred ninety-six. I'm looking forward to issue three hundred. I'm pretty sure I said that a couple of times now, but yeah, it'll be um, interesting to see if they do anything fancy pants for it. I'd like to think they will, but I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't be as disappointing as issue 250 was. Anyway. And Justice League. Issue number 13. Again with the arrow up there. I've seen the first two issue, um, episodes of that. It's okay. It's nothing spectacular in my opinion. From a lot of um, reviews and things I've read, it seems like something that most people either really like or really hate. <laughs> I'm actually settled in the middle. I think it's okay. Right. Uh, I'm gonna gonna give it a few more issues. Um, I keep saying issues. A few more episodes, sorry, to give it a chance. But anyway, getting off topic. So that's all from DC. Let me show those out the way. Ah, they're all falling over. Stay still. There we go. Right. We have an issue number one from Top Cow here. Cyberforce. They've revived Cyberforce. I really like this, although it's really good. I don't know how it compares to the old Cyberforce, because I've honestly never read any of them. But it's um, made me a lot more interested to go back and pick up a few of the old ones just to see. So I enjoyed that quite a bit. And The Darkness 107. Breaking Dark Part 2. Bit of. Um, Bit of an unexpected little twist at the end of that. I obviously won't spoil it, but that was good. That was really good. And uh, next we have The Walking Dead 103. This was cool. This um feels very much well it is a setup issue for the um the new story arc here. Or the next story arc, whatever. That was actually really good. I enjoyed that a lot. It's one of those series that I just um can't seem to get enough of. <laughs> I recently picked up the um, compendium number two. I actually have a whole load of trade paperbacks and um, things to show you. I've got one more coming in the post. I will um, show them all together in a nice little video once they will turn up. I like to think I've got one more left to turn up in the post. So yeah. Anyway, once that arrives, I will um, get right on that. And then from Dynamite Entertainment, part three of the um, Witchblade Demon Reborn miniseries. Coming towards its conclusion now. And then last but not least, we have um, Popeye issue number three. Popeye, the um, Popeye Classics issue number three. Another um, fun little issue there. This is one of the other things I'm considering dropping just because I'm spending far too much on comics. This will be one of the things I leave off to the end. I'm going to wait until I've um, dropped everything else I'm planning on dropping and see how much money I'm still spending. And if I'm over my um, my budgeted amount for, for most sort of weeks, then um, this will be one of the ones I consider dropping further. So, I mean, it's, it's good fun and it's cool just because it's the really old ones being reprinted. But... Uh, like with so many of the things, I just can't not convince I can justify the expense right now. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was the um, a short, sharp little weekly haul video from, um, yeah, the 17th. So, as soon as these other two hauls I'm waiting for turn up, turn up, I will um, get on and shoot those and get them all posted. And I will get a few more um, comic box videos recorded as well. 
and I'm going to the comic book store soon as well, so I'll get another little video for that. Anyway, I'm rambling, as I always do, so <laughs> I will say goodbye for now, and see you all again soon with a new video of some description. So, ta for now, see you later.